Muscle White's uh, been operating for about 18 years now. We're an underground mine just on the south shore of Lake Opapamiskan. Uh, we're a gold mine. Over the years, we've extended down and underneath the lake. We're currently at about 1,270 meters below surface and about eight kilometers away from the portal. Muscle White has always been very open to change, very open to trying new ideas. Technologically speaking, uh, we're, we're quite advanced. We're doing tele-remote, we're doing OptiMine, which is, is our, our dispatch system underground. This just ties very nicely into all of our initiatives to try and uh, find the most efficient way uh, to mine. The first time I heard about wireless, I honestly didn't quite understand it. But it was a concept that was just so out of the box for me that I took a while to really grasp what it was. And then as soon as I got the full explanation and, and realized what the capabilities of the wireless was, it, it really just changed the way we think about mind planning. You know, not being connected or, or limited by a cord when you're doing your blasts just allows you to get more creative in what you're doing and avoid having to do additional work to optimize the way you're trying to extract the material. I think when we started the project, uh, dilution control was definitely front and center. You know, dilution was creeping up. We knew that we were going to have a positive effect on dilution. We came in here with one mining method in mind, and now we've done seven. So these little tweaks are where, you know, it's improving the safety, the productivity, operational effectiveness of the mine. One of the big ones for me is not having to reaccess areas where the ground may be compromised. By using the web gens and being able to preload areas, we don't have to go back in close to that open hole. We can stay well within the supported ground that hasn't been compromised to the blast, so we're, we're keeping people out of harm's way. The PLR, the preloaded retreat, and that method has allowed us to put an investment of time up front, load off a series of blasts, and then skip all those auxiliary activities for the PLR sequence and just fire muck, backfill, fire muck, backfill for five, six, seven blasts in a row. The first tr block we trialed it on, I think we estimated that was sped up the cycle time for that block overall by over a week, which a week of production is just an incredible amount of additional profit. I guess we didn't realize uh, the possibilities that we would have in terms of recovering more of our ore, mining zones in a non-traditional fashion. We've been allowed to work collaboratively to come up with new ways to mine, essentially. Every single scenario I can think of, the innovation people at uh, Orica have, have already thought about it. So as far as safety-wise goes, it's the safest product out there. It's amazing how it's transformed what we do today compared to where we started. I don't think of it much as a project anymore. I think about it as a way we operate at Muscle Light. The wireless technology and, and using WebGens has become just a part of everyday blasting at Muscle Light.